Ladies and gentlemen, growing up in poverty is a denial of children's rights. It also means broken dreams for children and wasted opportunities for our economies and societies. Experiencing poverty and social exclusion in childhood has lifelong consequences. We need to break this dangerous cycle. This is a key priority for our progressive fam family who first called for a child guarantee to be set up. The work done by FAPS with the Child Union Project clearly reflects this political priority. Breaking the intergenerational cycle of disadvantage is now a key objective of this Commission too. This is why we propose the European Child Guarantee and the EU Strategy on the Rights of the Child. The European Child Guarantee recommends that Member States introduce measures to make sure that children in need have access to a healthy meal, education, health care, social and cultural activities and suitable housing. We are working closely with the Member States to implement the Child Guarantee currently. Member States have already nominated their Child Guarantee co coordinators and they have started preparing their national action plans, which are due in March. The EU budget will help fight child poverty and social exclusion through various EU funds. Member States with a level of children at risk of poverty or social exclusion above the EU average should use at least 5% of their European Social Fund Plus resources to tackle child poverty. It includes Hungary too, which should allocate close to 250 million euros for this purpose. A number of recommendations from past years referred specifically to the situation of the Roma. Inclusion of children from Roma minorities is an urgent challenge. The Child Guarantee is one of the key deliverables of the European Pillar of Social Rights Action Plan. It closely links to one of the targets set in that plan. By 2030, to lift 15 million people out of poverty, at least 5 million of whom should be children. This is why the Pillar Action Plan includes a number of initiatives aiming at improving the economic situation of low-income households. For example, the proposed Directive on Adequate Minimum Wages, the upcoming Council Recommendation on Minimum Income, a revision of the Barcelona targets on early childhood education and care. We need to keep the fight against inequalities, poverty, especially child poverty, at the top of our political agenda. This is even more important in the current juncture where we are all engaged in rebuilding our economies and societies to tackle the socio-economic consequences of the pandemic, as well as the challenges and opportunities of the green and digital transitions. I'm sure this conference will give an important contribution to our work against child poverty and inequality. Thank you.